Hi everybody, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements. We have a virtually completed project here on the timeline. All of the video is in place. We have a, a song running along the music track there. And then we have little places where narration pops in. And wherever the narration pops in, you notice that we have keyframes here along the music track to lower the volume of the music when the narration is playing. And then in between the narration clips, we go back up to normal volume. That's all well and good, but what happens if at this point we need to make an adjustment? Say for instance, we have a narration clip like this and we replace it with a new narration clip. We didn't like the reading. We didn't like the way it sounded or something. And that narration clip is shorter. Or what if we decide to slice this narration off and make it happen a little bit later? Now we've got these keyframes here and they're all messed up. They no longer match or they no longer line up with the narration clip. I guess we could right click on each of these keyframes and delete each one and then replace them or redo the keyframing. But there's an easier way and I wanna show you that. I'm going to line up the playhead here with the very end of that narration clip. Reason why it's just gonna serve as a marker for us. And the key to making this work is knowing that keyframes appear in a number of locations for the same clip. So in other words, if I select the music clip now and I go over here to the right hand side and select the adjustments panel, open up volume, there is the volume level, and then open up the keyframe controller for the volume. These are all of the keyframes that appear on that music clip. All right, on that clip there that's on the music track. So I can actually shift their positions right here in the keyframe controller. Now, again, I've got my playhead exactly where that narration ends, and I wanna move these little keyframes here on the soundtrack or on the music track so that they're off to the right just a little bit and line up with the playhead. So I'm going over here to the keyframe controller. I'm gonna zoom in on it a little bit. There we go. And these two keyframes are those keyframes that are down there on that music track. So I'm just gonna lasso them by dragging across. And I'm just gonna drag them over here to the playhead. Again, we're using the playhead as a marker and take a look here at the timeline. There are those keyframe points exactly where they need to be. We're gonna do the same thing with these two keyframe points over on the left. So I'm gonna position the playhead here on the timeline to right where I want my keyframes to pop in to lower that music's volume level. Then I'm going back up here to the keyframe controller. I'll lasso those two keyframes and drag them over to where the playhead is and take a look again at the timeline. As I've done that, the keyframes on the timeline now line up perfectly with that narration clip. Isn't that cool? So in the event something happens, and you need to make some adjustments here to your narration or a clip needs to move or something, it's not a big deal to shift the positions of the keyframes on the music track so that everything remains in sync and you don't have to start from scratch again to recreate your audio keyframes. Now, if you wanna know more of these high-level tricks, look for the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you wanna know everything about this program, like how to make those keyframes in the first place, and there are about three or four different ways to do it. Or if you want to know anything about any of the tools in this magnificent little program, be sure to check out our moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available on amazon.com. And I'm Steve Grizzetti, the author. I hope to see you again real soon.